Welcome to Spectrum Health TV. I'm joined by Dr. David Wones, Medical Director of Cardiac Catheterization at Spectrum Health. Welcome, Dr. Wones. Thank you, Carrie. I want to ask you about heart disease. Is it preventable? Coronary heart disease is preventable. We can certainly substantially reduce an individual's risk of developing coronary heart disease. And what are the risk factors? The major risk factors are hypertension, diabetes, smoking, family history, and uh, obesity that contribute to an individual's risk. Women are prone to heart disease also, but about 10 years later than men. Well, that's interesting. So what do you do if you've identified you're at risk for heart disease? Modifying those risk factors is critical. I mean, stopping smoking, you know, losing weight, making sure blood pressure is controlled. And then probably the, the, the biggest thing is cholesterol and knowing what your cholesterol levels are, your good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, and optimizing those numbers often through medications. The statin drugs have really um, been miraculous in these last 20 years in terms of their ability to reduce cholesterol and uh, reduce the risk of heart attacks. What age should you have your cholesterol tested? That's a great question. I mean, if there's a strong family history, you know, checking it at some point in teens or 20s, and then uh, there, there aren't great guidelines, but three to five years, and then certainly as you enter your 30s, and if you have other risk factors, getting your cholesterol checked is important. Getting back to the drugs, to the statins, is that a uh, a miracle drug? Are there other things that you need to do with, with them? They are as close as we've gotten to a miracle drug for treating cholesterol and reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke. What we define as a normal cholesterol keeps changing because we find the lower it is, the less your chance of developing a heart problem is. So should patients be confident that a, a drug is going to solve the problem or is it more of a whole package? It's a combination of lifestyle changes and medications. So if somebody's following a very bad high cholesterol diet, modifying that is important. I usually tell my patients it's about 90% metabolism, 10% diet. So, you know, we, we very freely use those medications for good reason. So bottom line message for a patient who's worried about heart disease, what should they do? Talk to their doctor, understand those risk factors, and certainly if you have any of those risk factors, to make sure you uh, get medical advice. Thank you for sharing this information, Dr. Wallace. You're welcome, Terry. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Spectrum Health TV.